Hello and welcome to the AthleticQuitness.com Speed Training Challenge. I'm Dr. Larry Van Such. Over the past several years, we have received an incredible response from all of our speed training programs, including the Run Faster Speed Training Program, which is what you see here. Athletes of all ages and fitness levels are reporting back with dramatic improvements in their running speed after using this program for just a few short weeks. However, in spite of all this success, we still receive our fair share of skepticism and doubt from people who are hesitant to try our programs. If you happen to be one of these people, or perhaps you were thinking about purchasing one of our programs, but were looking for a little bit more information before you did, then listen carefully. Inside the Run Faster Speed Training Program are five different speed training exercises. Each of these exercises is designed to train one specific muscle group involved in the running and sprinting process. These muscle groups are your thigh flexors, thigh extensors, hamstrings, abductors, and adductors. Now, what we are going to do for a limited time is to allow you to try one of these five incredible speed training exercises. And the exercise we have chosen for you to try is the very first one for your thigh flexor muscles. All you need to do is perform the exercise I'm about to show you for three minutes a day, three times a week for the next two weeks. That's only six total exercise sessions, three minutes each, for a grand total of just 18 minutes. When you are finished, we want you to time yourself in the 40-yard dash, the 60-yard dash, or the 100-meter dash, and report back to us with your results. Our expectation is that, like many others, you will be faster than ever before. And that's just by using one of the five exercises contained in the Run Faster program. Okay, let's get started. Many of you who have already read through our website already know by now that the way our training programs teach speed training is to use a resistance band, which is what you see here, with an isometric training strategy. And what that means is, instead of performing repetitions with the band like you would during a normal weight training session, you take the resistance band and you hold it apart at a predetermined distance for 10 to 15 seconds. This is probably a lot different than you have been training, but as you'll soon see, the results are immediate and dramatic. And you can learn more about this type of training directly from our website. Now, you're going to need to find some of these resistance bands on your own. You can get them directly from our website or a sporting goods store. You're going to want to get several bands that are at least four feet long and provide a moderate amount of resistance. Now what you're about to see is speed training exercise number one from the Run Faster program for your thigh flexor muscles. Start by tying your band around a pole, similar to what you see here. Then place your right foot inside the loop and begin stepping forward until you feel the band starting to tighten and tension increasing in your thigh flexor muscles. Next, raise your thigh upwards and then extend your leg forward. Apply pressure in the direction of the arrow as shown and hold this position for about 10 to 15 seconds. You should be using about 70% of your strength here and it's important not to lock your knee out. Let's take a look at this again. Tie your band around a pole similar to what you see here. Place your right foot inside the loop and begin stepping forward until you feel the tension in your thigh flexors increasing. Next, raise your thigh upward and extend your leg forward. You can also balance yourself against a wall as shown here with your hand. Continue to apply pressure in this direction for about 10 to 15 seconds. You may have felt your leg begin to shake as you fought to maintain this position. This is normal as well as good, and it's a sign that these muscles have never been properly trained before until now. Here's a summary of the original thigh flexor exercise. Number one, the resistance band is tied around a pole. Number two, your right leg is placed inside a loop. Number three, begin stepping forward until tension in your thigh flexors approaches 70% of your maximum strength. Number four, your right thigh is raised first, followed by extension of the right leg. Number five, pressure is applied in the direction of the arrow as shown for 10 to 15 seconds. Number six, rest for at least 15 seconds. And number seven, repeat the exercise for your left thigh flexors by placing your left leg inside the loop instead of your right. Now that didn't look very hard, now did it? The main thing you want to accomplish with this exercise is to make sure that you're really working at holding the final position for 10 to 15 seconds. So if using one band didn't seem very hard, try using two bands as shown in this next video.
Use as many bands as you need to to make your muscles work. The important thing to remember here is not to exceed the physical abilities of the bands. If you stretch the bands too far, you'll essentially turn the bands into a rope and lose the elastic dynamic properties that makes a resistance band so effective for speed training. Now, the recommended training program is included as part of the PDF download file along with some helpful training tips. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you print that out. And make sure you time yourself before and after this two-week trial period and make sure you write back to us and let us know how you did. One last thing to mention here. The thigh flexor exercise that you just seen is just one of the five speed training exercises contained in the Run Faster training program. So if you think you're fast by just using one exercise, imagine how fast you'll become if you did all five of them. To get your complete copy of the Run Faster speed training program, go directly to athleticquickness.com. And thanks again for taking our speed training challenge. For athleticquickness.com, I'm Dr. Larry Van Such.